Hello, my name is Hyun Young Lee. I'm a PhD student from the Department of English Education at Gongju National University. It's a great honor to have an opportunity to present my research in this video session. I'm going to talk about text difficulty of English textbooks for high school seniors and the college scholastic ability test in South Korea. Here is the overview of my presentation for today. First, I'm going to highlight the importance and purpose of this research. Second, I'll introduce some literature review and deal with how my research is different from prior research and how my research has expanded. Third, I'll talk about the subject of the research and what the method of the research has in detail. Next, I'll share the results of the research through data interpretation. Finally, I'll summarize the conclusion of the research and discuss how this research can help in practice. Due to the high level of globalization and development into an information-oriented society, English literacy uh, is recognized as a very high value in Korean society. As a result, English has become a big part of the CSAT, which plays a vital role in entering university in Korea. Korean society's interest in English education has naturally increased. However, the perception of the importance of English resulted in overheated private education. Statistics Korea released a chart on the slide in 2020. It's about the average private education per participation student by subject. As you can see, private education spending on English is the highest among the four subjects. What is noteworthy is that the data were acquired after the change to the absolute evaluation of CSAT English conducted by the Ministry of Education in 2018. Although the CSAT English absolute evaluation was adopted to normalize public education and ease the excessive burden of learning. I realized the need for research in that students still receive private education a lot, which goes against the goal of absolute evaluation. Therefore, it led to the question, is there a, such a difficulty gap between textbooks and the CSAT that students who focus on public education cannot achieve good research on the CSAT? To address the issue, I decided to compare the text difficulties of the recent CSAT with English reading and writing textbooks published for high school senior students who are about to take the CSAT in a year. To analyze the corpus built for comparison, I used the web-based uh, automated language analysis tool called Cometrix. Of the 106 data acquired through this program, I selected six elements for comparison by referring to prior research. Including this, specific research question has been set as follows. Are there any significant differences in the descriptive indices, word information, lexical diversity, syntactic complexity, standard readability, and cohesion between the CSAT and English textbooks for high school seniors? Textbooks are an essential learning tool both for, uh, for both teachers and learners 
because they faithfully follow the national curriculum and achievement level. Much attention has been drawn to textbook analysis because textbooks account for a large portion of public education. Recently, the core metrics program has been actively used to analyze the vast amount of textbooks with relatively short time and accuracy. Let me talk about two prior studies that have influenced my research. The two studies analyzed the continuity of textbooks to ensure that they were dealing with linguistic information suitable for the level of learners. In 2011, John used Cometrics to check the continuity between first and second grade middle school textbooks and found statistically significant differences in terms of uh, what frequency, modifiers, per noun phrase, cohesion, and pronoun measurement. In 2013, Kim and John analyzed the continuity of listening materials in middle school English textbooks using Cometrics. The research suggested a lack of overall connectivity in terms of lexical diversity, modifiers per noun phrase, and cohesion. These prior studies have shown that the use of Cometrics can help compare the difficulty of the text. Next, some studies have analyzed the difficulty of the CSAT using Cometrics as well. The CSAT has a huge washback effect on the South Korean educational context. The difficulty analysis of the CSAT has been very active because it has a substantial impact on students' learning attitudes, learning materials, and test preparation strategies. In 2016, Kim and Shin compared the difficulty of high school English 1 and 2 with the 2015-2016 CSAT. As a result, the CSAT showed great difficulty in terms of descriptive indices, cohesion, lexical diversity, and syntactic complexity too. In 2015, Kim and Choi compared the difficulty of EVS CSAT prep books, CSAT and textbooks. Not only were EVS CSAT prep books and CSAT more difficult than textbooks, but it was also suggested that their readability letter levels were similar to those of the New York Times and the Times Magazine. In 2017, Moon and Kim analyzed the difficulty of the CSAT from 1994 to 2016. Each year, the difficulty of the CSAT has steadily increased, especially the mean number of words in the sentence, the age of acquisition of content words, and syntactic complexity. Considering that most of the studies were about the textbook continuity analysis between the school grades or conducted before the current 2015 revised curriculum, I decided to compare the text difficulty between the recent CSAT and the textbooks reflecting the revised curriculum. Based on the 2015 revised curriculum, several textbooks have been newly published. Among them, English reading and writing textbooks were written according to the level of uh, senior high school students. And most Korean high schools adopted English reading and writing as a subject for senior students. Therefore, I decided that English reading and writing textbooks are most appropriate to compare difficulty with the CSAT. The five textbooks shown on the slide 
are all English reading and writing textbooks published in Korea. A subject to compare with the textbooks is the 2019 and 2020 CSAT, which has been taken in the last two years. After selecting the target text for difficulty comparison, the texts were modified in three ways to increase the reliability of the analysis. First of all, I decided to compare reading materials only. So I decided, so I deleted the listening and speaking parts of textbooks and the CSAT. In addition, the titles, diagrams, and illustrations were all excluded from the corpus. Last, I filled in the blanks and corrected grammatically, grammatically wrong sentences because the CSAT has a test format. The following task was to process the completed corpus with the CoMetrix program. CoMetrix provides 106 linguistic information. Referring to prior studies, 13 of them were selected as indices to compare difficulty levels. And they are classified into six criteria as shown in the table. Then an independent t-test was conducted to see if there was a statistically significant differences in the measurement obtained from Cometrics. From now on, I'll identify the differences in the text difficulty verified in each criterion with the test results. The first part is descriptive indices which provide a simple way to compare the difficulty of the text. Generally, when long words or sentences appear, it takes a longer time to read and it increases the difficulty. I choose the number of syllables in words and the mean number of words in sentences as the linguistic features that affect the text difficulty. Comparing the measurement of the textbooks and the CSAT, I found that both have statistically significant differences because uh, p-values are less than 0.05. In other words, the CSAT is more difficult in terms of descriptive indices than textbooks. The following is a word information. Vocabulary is a significant part of English learning. And what vocabulary is used has a significant impact on the text difficulty. I chose four things as variables corresponding to word information. First, the age of acquisition for content words is a measure of the average age at which a particular vocabulary is acquired, uh, meaning that the higher the number, the more difficult vocabulary for a higher age. Next, what frequency for content words is a measure of the frequency that appears in public documents. And the higher the frequency, the more likely the vocabulary is to be frequently encountered by the learners. So it'll be relatively easy to understand. Concreteness and imaginability indicate how spe specific and distinct the meaning of the vocabulary conveys. The higher the number, the easier it is uh, for learners to grasp the meaning of the text. If you look at the table on the slide, you can see that uh, on average, textbooks contain more accessible, more familiar, 
and more specific vocabulary in all variables. Furthermore, the p-values are also all less than 0.05, which makes a statistically significant difference. In other words, the CSAT has greater difficulty than textbooks in terms of the word informations. The next is a comparison of lexical diversity. The variable used to check for lexical diversity is a type token ratio. Type refers to the individual word contained in the text. And token refers to the frequency at which the individual word repeatedly appears within the text. If the number of type and token is the same, the type token ratio becomes one, which means that the words in the text are all different. Therefore, the closer the number to one, the more various words appear in the text. And the higher the difficulty of the text as well. As you can see from the table on the slide, the type token ratio of the CSAT is relatively closer to one on average than the textbook. And the p-value is also below 0.05, which indicates a statistically significant difference. In other words, it is confirmed that the CSAT has a higher level of difficulty than textbooks in terms of lexical diversity. Now, I'm moving on to a comparison of syntactic complexity between textbooks and the CSAT. Uh, generally, the more complex the sentence structure is, the more difficult it is for learners to understand. Thus, was before the main verb and modifiers per noun phrase were selected as factors affecting the complexity of the sentences. And they were compared with their average measurement. The larger the number of words that appear before main verb and the noun phrase, the more complex the sentence structure is. Although both variables show a higher average in the CSAT, the p-value is greater than 0.05, which means that there is no statistically significant difference in difficulty. Therefore, the level of syntactic complexity learned through the textbook is sufficient to understand the sentence structure of the CSAT. The following is a comparison of standard readability. To check the standard readability, I compare the measurements of the flash reading ease and the flash Kincaid grade level. The FRE score is a number from 0 to 100. And the higher the number, the easier to read the text. As shown in the table in the slide, the FRE score in the textbooks is higher than the CSAT on average. And the p-value also indicates that there is a statistically significant difference. The FKGL score is provided in a number from 0 to 12. And it refers to the grade uh, of learners who speak English as their native language. According to the table, textbooks deal with the 7th grade level reading materials on average. But the CSAT consists of the 10th grade level on average. Even though the CSAT and the textbooks are read by high school senior students in the same year, it shows a difference of more than three grades. Like FRE, FKGL also reveals a statistically significant difference. Finally, it is a comparison of cohesion. The higher the bond the text has, 
the easier it is for learners to understand. Co-referential cohesion and semantic cohesion were selected as variables that affect the solidarity of the text. The higher the co-referential cohesion measurement, the more linguistic devices the text contains, such as pronouns that bind sentences together. The table indicates that the textbooks uh, contain relatively more linguistic devices than the CSAT. And the p-value shows a statistically significant difference. Semantic cohesion indicates how closely the meanings of closed sentences are connected. And the higher the measurement, the lower the difficulty of the test. According to the analysis, the semantic cohesion of the CSAT was higher than the textbooks on average. However, it was not a statistically difference, statistically significant difference. So far, I've interpreted the linguistic measurements obtained from co-metrics for each criterion. I'm going to summarize the major findings and explain what the research suggests. First, among the 13 linguistic features that affect the difficulty of the text, there were statistically signif significant differences in 10 measurements, except for words before the main verb, modifiers per noun phrase, and semantic cohesion. It turns out that the difficulty of the CSAT is higher in general than that of the textbooks. These findings provide several implications on improvements of the CSAT. First, if the CSAT maintains the difficulty gap with textbooks like it is now, it will be very challenging to achieve the goal of normalizing public education and easing the excessive, uh, easing the burden of excessive learning. For the students who faithfully follow the school curriculum and focus on the textbooks to get the score, uh, get to get the score they expect from the CSAT, it is essential to maintain a balance of difficulty between the textbooks and the CSAT. The second is the value of co-metrics used as an analytical tool in the study. It has proved that it can be used as a practical verification tool. When publishing the textbooks or making test items, it can provide in-depth information of the text using numbers. That's all for my research. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please send them to my email. I will be very happy to answer them. Thank you for listening.